Welcome to They Call Me Coach. Um, it's been quite a while since our last episode, but we wanted to make sure that our next episode would be something uh, pretty unforge unforgettable. And that's why for uh, today, we're going to have our special guest, uh, really uh, the first uh, Filipino who has played in the NBA. And uh, I'm referring to none other than Jordan Clarkson of the Los Angeles Lakers. Uh, we're going to talk to Jordan and find out things that we, we haven't really uh, figured out before and discovered uh, his background, how close he is to his mom, uh, you know, the, 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 the little challenge that, that they have uh, with his father. Uh, and again, we're going to find out his thoughts about being here in the Philippines, how excited he is to play for, for, for the Philippines, and uh, a lot more. So, we're going to jump right in, and I'm pretty sure you're going to love this episode of They Call Me Coach. Tell us a little bit, a little background about your, yourself, uh, uh, you know, uh, from from the time that you picked up the ball, how you started uh, getting into the into groups and all that. Um, you know, in terms of all my basketball stuff, it kind of started late for me. Uh, didn't really get into basketball until I was in the eighth, ninth grade, maybe. Um, when I took, started taking it serious, so it was a late start for me. You know, I was doing track and field and soccer and stuff like that. So, um, you know, when time came, I fell in love with the game. And, you know, I went to uh, high school, mm -hmm. then went to the University of Tulsa. Yep. Uh, had an okay freshman year, um, and it really blossomed uh, my sophomore year. By Tulsa. okay, you mean first team all right. freshman, right? right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, but before that, I think what, uh, what we want to find out is um, a little bit about your mom. Maybe you can uh, uh, tell the people uh, a little bit about her and you know, uh, your earliest memories and the influence that she's had on you as a person. Um, you know, my mom, she, uh, she's been a, a big influence on me in terms mm -hmm. of what she does individually for, for her family and, and mine as well. So, um, for the whole family, because she has her own uh, family now too as well, because my parents are split. And, uh, you know, it's just kind of one big family. You know, she kind of molded that together as well as uh, my stepmother. And, um, you know, uh, you know she's, uh, she's she's a hardworking woman. Um, you know, she, she, she's done a lot for me uh, in terms of being strong and everything for me. Were there any kind of Filipino influences that you remember growing up or some lessons that she had instilled in you uh, um, from early on that you, you know, carry until today? Um, just, just the toughness, man. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, she's always been the one to, you know, talk to me and get me back <laughs> up when I'm down yeah. and stuff like that. So she's always there for me when I'm down. So, um, you know, that toughness kind of just been instilled with me, um, as well as my grandmother. You know, um, yep. she's uh, she's been strong with me. Uh, so, what are their thoughts. thoughts about you being here? Uh, this is it. I know they're, they're so excited and yeah. you know, I haven't had a chance to, to call them or anything. Mm -hmm. um, I talked to them I think, the other day and I was texting them before I came over here. But um, I know when I get back to the States... Uh, you got a lot of stories. Yeah, huh? I have a lot of stories for them. And I know my, every time my grandma sees me on TV, she just <laughs> almost like breaks down crying. So. Oh yeah. yeah? From your mom, um, I, I know that the, you know your, your dad was another big uh, influence on you. And uh, the, you know, uh, there was a time where he came down and visited, and you know, uh, and uh, maybe you can also tell us a little bit about uh, your father. Was he, he was in the Air Force, right? Right. Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah. You know, my dad is uh, probably been one of my biggest influences on my mm -hmm. life in terms of everything that happened over the uh, past years. Um, you know, with his cancer and yeah. uh, stuff like that. So, but my dad and my mom, they those are the ones that kind of put the ball in my hand. Even though my mom was the one that kind of uh, yeah. pushed him and let, let me play. Yeah. My dad was a little mad when I got yeah. uh, when I stopped oh, playing track and field. So uh -huh. uh, my mom was the one telling him, hey, let him go. And 
How, how do you cope? I mean, uh, it's, it's, it's not easy finding out that your dad had, had uh, it's, it's almost like a rare form, mm -hmm. form of cancer, right? Yeah. And you found out and you were ready with the Lakers. Mm -hmm. how, how do you cope? Um, I mean, it was tough, you know, it was a tough time for me and a tough time for my family, so, um, you know, I just kind of use the basketball kind of just to get away from it, just mm -hmm. like the, uh, everybody does out here, you know, that basketball is just so rich and you know, when we step in between those lines, nothing else matters, so um, that's how I kind of coped with it, though, you know, I was going through a tough time on the court mm -hmm. during that time, too, but uh, you know, I just kind of did it through that. So it was really, you know, just... Uh something that you've uh, learned to, to deal with and, and play through uh, even up to now. Let's shift a little bit to, to, to hoops now, to, to your career. Uh, in college, uh, who do you say was your was a most influential coach uh, that, uh, that really molded you? It might be your high school uh, coach or whatever. Uh, you know, my, one of my assistants, uh, Tim Fuller, you know, he was oh, um, yeah. staff. <laughs> He's here with okay. me right now, so. Um, you know, the year I sat out, uh, didn't get an opportunity to play because NCAA rules uh, in terms of transferring. He was a the guy there working me out every morning uh, after games, and you know we really, really, uh, you know, got it, got it, in, uh, got it in when I was sitting out. So um, he had me ready for that year that uh, I played, and you know he was a guy always telling me. Uh, I remember. Um, the last game of the season of, of the year that I was sitting out, he told me, we ain't, we ain't going to have a senior night. So uh, <laughs> I was, and so we, we definitely made that true, uh, dream mm -hmm. come true. And um, now I'm here.